So 2023, um, even though like it's this part has been kind of affected a bit by the writers and actors strike, we still have some really great stuff coming out. We've got Alexander Payne's The Holdovers, Yorgos Lanthimos's Four Things, um, Wonka, The Color Purple musical, All of Us Strangers. But there was one we were supposed to get on December 1st that isn't going to be releasing anymore and is now being given up by Disney. That film is Jeff Nichols' The Bike Riders. The, yeah, this is a, like, this kind of tells the story of like a biker gang, a, a Chicago biker gang in the 60s that eventually grows over time. They filmed the movie last year. Um, and this film was going to be released by Disney's recently acquired 20th Century Studios as part of their distribution deal with Regency Enterprises. Um, so far, um, under this new renewal deal, um, Disney and Regency were able to release Barbarian, Amsterdam, and The Creator. The Bike Writers would have been the fourth one of this, like, released after the renewal deal. Now that's not happening anymore, because for one, last month, Disney decided to delay the release of the bike riders because of the ongoing actor strike. Now the actor strike is over. But now, for no reason, and I just do not get this, Disney is giving up on the bike riders, they're not going to release it, and they are instead going to sell it off to a different distributor that could give it a theatrical or streaming release. You cannot tell how upset this makes me because I have been. Oh, I'm sorry if I'm not letting you talk. They, uh, it's just, it's just... <laughs> um, but I have been like follow, keeping up with this film ever since August of twenty, August or October twenty twenty three, right around the time Austin Butler, Jodie Comer, and Tom Hardy got cast. And to just kind of see it go, like, up, but then go down so hard, it, it hurts. It really hurts. And now Disney's just going to give up on this. Like, this is a film that would be a perfect fit for the studio. We haven't, like, 20th Century isn't, like, doing these kinds of films that much. As they're instead focusing on, like, bigger films and, and low-quality Hulu releases. I think the bike riders... <coughs> Sorry. I think the bike riders is a perfect fit for them. Like, I want to see the studio do more small auteur driven films, but no, they're just gonna call it. A, I I call this a wasted opportunity. Like, they think this isn't gonna sell well, and yet you guys released Barbarian, a film that is more fucked up, disgusting, but I but I really love Barbarian. I'll say that. And the worst part about it is like selling it. It means. It could go to, like, a streaming service, meaning no physical release of this film. I cannot take that. Dave, Dave, what do you have to say about Disney giving up on the bike riders? I think it's still, like, continuing the trend that kind of sucks, like, Warner Bros. Discovery was doing where they, like, shelled Batgirl in, yeah. like, another movie. I guess it's stupid whenever they fully made these movies and stuff. Like, you might as well release them. Yeah. There's no point in not doing it by that point, like... But at least w with what Disney is doing, like one thing I'll give them is that they're allowing the, they're allowing Regency to sell the film to a different yeah. distributor, whereas with Batgirl, Scoop Holiday Hunt, Scooby Doo and the Haunted ha ha Hex Girls Haunted High Rise, they've just given up on them, all because of money. People, that's what people the things people are willing to do just to get money. It it's honestly just disgusting, and I I, I do not stand for that. I stand for for an artist getting to have their project out there for the world to see it. I am I stand for the people who put all their time and effort into something that can truly be like amazing. And now Disney does not want to release something that has been giving great reviews at Telluride and BFI BFI London Film Festival. And when you have Austin Butler, Jody Comer, Michael Shannon, Norman Reedus and fucking Tom Hardy. How... How could you do that? I, I know I'm overreacting, but I'm just... This is just really hurting me. 
I know people aren't going to care about the bike riders or anything because it's not some Marvel movie or Marvel DC big budget blockbuster or anything, but I care about it because this film has a voice. This film it has like a voice of like passion behind it. Like that's why like that's why Killers of the Flower Moon was so great because Martin Scorsese had his voice out there. That's why Barbarian was so great because Zack Krager had his voice out there. Disney didn't want is now not wanting to have Jeff Nichols have his voice be heard with this film he's been trying to make since 2013. But I will say this. If Disney is going to let if if if, if <coughs> oh, I don't I don't know what's wrong. With good. But if Regency is going to find someone who can release this, they better pick either Neon or A24. Because I can definitely see the bike riders fitting in with one of those studios. So especially since A24 is wanting to kind of branch out more to like some commercial stuff after doing Bo is Afraid. Yeah, that'd be good just to like actually get the film out because it looks pretty good, so it's just stupid yeah. whenever you see all these companies like shelving these films or like trying to just shop them and stuff. At least they're doing that, but I wish they would just, just straight up release it, but yeah, kind of is what it is. And since Disney isn't releasing this, there's now a trilogy. A trilogy of three films from like 20th and Regency that were supposed to be intended as theatrical releases, but have been sold off. The first one is Everybody's Talking About Jamie. The second one is Adrian Lyne's Deep Water. And now we have the bike riders to that list. And that's the one that just... It stings the most. Do you... What, what do you think? Like, who who do you think should pick up the bike riders? Like, who who do you think could, like, give it the respect? It yeah, I think probably, like, you... I think A24 would probably be good just so they can kind of branch out. Like, have, like, a new type of film added to their, like, library and stuff. Yeah. Or even some big studio, like paramount yeah pretty much any company can come up and just pick up this movie because it looks pretty good like i haven't been like as involved in looking at the movie as luke probably but it looks like a good film to me so somebody should definitely pick it up yeah i guess this is one of the effects we're seeing of this of the hollywood strikes but again this just makes no sense for disney to do this it's honestly just disrespectful and this is a tactic that needs to stop it, it was not fun. It, it was not fun when Batgirl got written off. And to this day, it's not fun to see films either get written off or have them get, get be given up by the company. But that's still not going to stop me from being excited about this because I'm still, like, going to be there to support it. I'm going to be there to see what kind of vision Jeff Nichols made for this film. What do you think, Thade? Yeah, I hope the film comes out because it looks pretty good. Like, I think I'll probably be watching it too, so... I'm still holding out hope that somebody will pick it up, so that's kind of what I think. Yeah. Until then, um... I'm gonna stay updated. Um, I'll let you guys know whoever bought the bike riders. But until then, support films, support artists. Just... Like, they, de they, they deserve better. They deserve better.